Hello viewers, I am going to give you a lecture on laboratory course of uh, life sustaining system of animal physiology. Uh, my today's topic is smear preparation and identification of human blood cell. Uh, it is very questionable why human blood has been selected for identification. I like to mention you some peculiarities of the human blood. It has two types of cell, nucleated or non-nucleated. It has a peculiar uh, substance that is platelets, that is thrombocytes which is very specific in human blood. Why it is specific? Because it helps in the blood clotting system of the um, human blood. The cells are not only nucleated, non-nucleated, it is also of different forms. That is, it is heteromorphic in character. It functions differently, though it is heteromorphic. Again, the cells are medically important very much today because counting of the TC, that is the total count of the blood cells, hemoglobin, erythrocytes and the leukocytes, different cell counts of the leukocytes, PSL value, platelet counts, everything is usable in case of the determination of pathogenicity of human body. Not over that, moreover, human blood is used in homeostatic um, strategy. It does the various types of functions such as respiration, transportation of oxygen particles, excretion, and by doing all other every functions, it keeps the homeostasis of the body. Well, so we have got interest to uh, identify the particular cells. So, I want my discussion is step by step. I want to know first the what is the chemical characters of those cells which can react with my staining capacity, number one. Number two, I want to visualize the all cells for identification. Thirdly, the anatomical variations will be determined to and observed for proper identification of those cells. Now, in the first point, that is the chemical nature of the blood I have to find out. The blood cells in the human body, the nature of the, what is the nature of the blood cell? It is a connective tissue. The connective tissue is mobile. That means it is a fluidity determines, it is a fluid connective tissue. Its fluidity is maintained by blood plasma, which remains in the system at 55% ratio, in which the other component, that is the blood corpuscles, remains there at 45% ratio. This 45% ratio, percent ratio is the packed cell volume, that means without blood plasma. The total volume is about 5 to 6 liter. Otherwise, I can say that it is the 10% of the human body weight. Anyway, my concern is regarding the blood cut parcels. The blood cut parcels are heteromorphic, already I have told. The heteromorphic character has been determined. That means the classification of these corpuscles has been determined mainly on the three factors. One, 
the nucleus second the uh, corpuscles and third the most important the chemical reactions of the cytoplasm nucleus may be present or may not it does it is not present in rbc and platelets but present in wbc the another um, character the uh, granules it also may present or may not it present in the neutrophil eosinophil basophil but does not have in monocyte and lymph so granules are there in different form different uh, forms and so that it is identified as different way so identification of the um, granules are most important because to know their functions separately but peculiarities that all the corpuscles do not behave in the same manner because of their different ph factor some uh, of the particles that means some of the granules are acidic in nature some are basic in nature so we require now to stain these particles when both the characters are there so we want such type of stain which can stain the acidic particles simultaneously um, stain the basic particles when you choose the basic stain for example methylene blue it stains the basophilic gas substances which is acidic in nature for example nucleus of the cell endoplasmic reticulum dna rna when we choose the acidic stain for example eosin it has the affinity for the acidophilic acidophilic or eosinophilic substances that are actually basic in the nature for example cytoplasm or granules but we have to stain the blood so such type of staining material we have to choose that can be that can, uh, can help the staining capacity of um, two types of corpuscles simultaneously yes we have chosen this um, uh, staining um, uh, material as lisman stain blood smears is stained with it because it is a neutral and differential stain why it is difference differential because it contains both type of staining material eosin and methylene blue that is acidic and basic both type of staining material eosin and methylene blue if we consider their configuration we can see this structure of methylene blue that is a minor group a minor group here here and here is responsible for its basic character and as like that eosin blue this character that is c double o and the hydroxyl blue hydroxyl portion is responsible for its acidic nature peculiarity is that due to its different characteristics when this stains a cell it proceed their staining property in differential diffusion rate due to its different diffusion rate they 
migrate to the staining property to the cellular component in different times. So we require to maintain the time of staining um, span in proper way. The staining time will be discussed later on. Now we have to prepare the reagent. Commercially, it is obtained from the market as Lisman powder. That Lisman powder is taken at 0 0.15 gram and it is mixed with the methyl alcohol 100 ml in quantity. The mixture is heated at 50 degrees centigrade for 15 minutes. Then it is filtered and taped at 37 degree at room temperature in the laboratory. But it is better to prepare it two hours before the experiment two. This Lisman powder has two components you have, I have, you have noticed. One thing, the powder with two types of material, staining material, and dissolved in methyl alcohol. It is to remember that methyl alcohol is added there as a fixative of the cell. Number one. But attention to do that that methyl alcohol should not contain any acetone because acetone will destroy the cell structure, cell um, wall and the total um, cell will be distorted, distorted and staining will be barred by this particular chemical that is acetone. So, methyl alcohol should be acetone free. Now, staining material is ready for the reaction. Hello. Now, the process of visualization uh, and identification of the species, that is the identification of the blood smear, uh, should be discussed now. Lisman, other than the Lisman stain, we have taken the another uh, sample that is the blood, human blood as sample, free slide, grease free to disposable hypodermic syringe, distilled water of different pH medium, absolute alcohol and cotton, microscope of to objective size that is 10x and 45x a dropper pipette this requirement is enough to make the experiment now the process of smear i'm going to smear the blood cell you have to remind it during this function we are making the smear on the slide this, so, first you have to clean the slides. Cleaning means any dirty particles should not be there. The cleaning will be done with the alcohol and water. Now, it should be dried. Why? Because if this, it is not dried, then the fixation that is the dry fixation of the cellular particles or the cellular corpuscles will not properly adhere to the surface of the glass slide. Now the second stage. In the second stage, our function is to sterilization of the material, sterilization of the um, structure from where I am collecting the blood, that means our fingertip. Fingertip will be sterilized by cotton swab with alcohol, absolute alcohol, and needle will be sterilized by 
burning the tea over the blue flame of the bird. Now, after the pricking, blood has been oozed out. The blood will be collected at the one end of the slide. Right? Now, now, now the spreading of that blood. One drop of, if you notice the drop of the blood or droplet of the blood, then you will see the over the blood, there is a round figure, rounded structure due to surface tension. You should touch the second slide. Just over the, that surface tension of the blood, show that the by means of the capillary action, the blood spreads sidewise but urgently. Then touch the first slide. Now third function is to push the slide, that means the second slide at the same equal speed towards the forwardsly. Wait, now this function will be possible only when to keep the slide or hold the second slide at 45 degree angle. Otherwise, the smear will be thick. And if it is not, if it is thick, the corpuscles will not be distributed evenly on the slide for future verifications. Now smear should be dried. Smear the peculiarity is a smear, the vision of the smear will be conical, vision of the same smear will be tongue separate, and the smear of the color of the smear will be reddish, light reddish. This smear is dried then in the air for few minutes, uh, one minute or 30 seconds. Now smear is ready. Now come to the uh, preparation of staining. Yes, it is the process um, visualization for your visualization how you should make the slide mm, um, smear. Okay, this is the blood droplet. This is the attachment of second slide with the droplet and blood has been dispersed sideways. This is the pushing of the blood push forwardly at the angle of 45 degrees and 45 degree angle. And this is the final vision of the smear, which is tongue separate. Okay. So smear, dry smear is now ready. So uh, we have to smear, stain it, a later stain it. Step 2, in the staining process, we require two types of stain, 100% and 50%. But we will make it stepwise. First step, the stain will be covered with 100% stain. That means 100% Lisman stain. They just cover. It has been written just cover. Why just? That means here is indicated two types of precaution. First precaution that the stain should not spill out of the slide. Number two, the slide should be covered with the petites so that the stain should not be dried out. for the three minutes only. You have to wait and go for the next step here. In the next step, you have to dilute it to 50% with the distilled water. Distilled water will be poured on the same stain uh, material at this proportion, at the double proportion you have added the stain in the first step. So how will you mix? It will be mixed by the pipette. 
in and out process for 10 seconds. Then again cover with the petri dish and wait for 7 minutes. After that, you take it, wash out the stain from the uh, uh, drain of the stain from the slide and then wash it. During washing, it should be careful, you should be careful that it will be kept vertically under the slow flowing of the tap water. Tap water, remind tap water because tap water has different type of pH. Concentration. Now tap water, after the tap washing of the tap water, that means after the washing of the extra stain from over the smear, you should make it dry. Now, what will be the color? What will be the function have been ended? Two function you have to mention. First function, the smear, when during the smear has been staining. The second step, when smear is taken, um, uh, Mature smear is uh, completed, uh, staining is completed, then the material, stain material will be metallic vision or the metallic color. And when the smear will be ended, then it will be a light violet color. The visual structure. Uh, of the smear will be observed in the next um, slide here. Look, this is the blood. Has been drawn in a conical fashion. That is tongue fashion. It is unstained. After staining, the structure, this color has been created. So it is the stained um, structure stain uh, smear that we are going to visit for observation okay let us go let us see the observation anatomical variations is found out here the anatomical variations we have we want to know because we want to identify the peculiarities of the deep, of the different cell structures i have indicated only the three points nucleus cytoplasm and granules three characters are most vital the colors have been created according to their chemical cytoplasmic chemical reactions and that can be checked under microscope in 45x but nucleus and granules should be studied from this um, observation um, description. You see the neutrophil. Neutrophil has the nucleus with three lobes: first, second, and third. It can be go up to five or to seven. The lobes are connected with chromatin threads here and this one, chromatid threads. Look for the eosin difference. The nucleus is bilobed and it is also connected by chromatid threads. A second point, this is the variation of the nucleus. Now second point, the granules. Look for the nuclear neutrophil, the granules are fine. In case of eosinophil, the granules are coarse conspicuous and very much identified a fiber now come to the next cell basophil in case of basophil the granules are conspicuous nucleus is diffused or maybe below but in case of monocyte it is kit conspicuous and it is kidney separate. Peculiarities, 
the cytoplasm outside this nucleus of monocyte does not have any granule. Granular, that is, it is a granular, but basophil is not that. Come to the next point, a granular um, cells are also there. I have already told, that is the lymphocyte. Lymphocyte is two types, small and large. Lymphocyte cells have, small lymphocyte have the nucleus, round sepet, leaving a small thin space around it, cytoplasmic space. The cell shape is small in comparison to large lymphocytes. In case of large lymphocyte, the nucleus is larger, but it is eccentric in position and more or less uh, Crescent separate, leaving more space of cytoplasm, but similar character in both case. Cytoplasm does not have any granule. That means both are a granular. So, now come to the another cell. It is erythrocyte and platelets. The same structure is there, same character is there. That means the nucleus in case of RBC, nucleus in case of platelets are absent. And also, any kinds of granules are not found. The similarity is there, nucleus and presence of granules. That is negative. But the structure of the body cell, structure that means the body cell is different. In case of erythrocyte, it is round or it can be biconcave. But in case of platelets, it is irregular in cell and present in cluster. Okay, these all the characters of nucleus and the granules have been told only to identify conspicuously when you determine or identify the cells from the um, field. In the field, you, see, uh, you will see the uh, first at 10x BM objective. At 10x objective, you will see the total vision. But when you focus it at 45 um, x vision, then you will see the objective uh, the WBC are surrounded by many RBC cells, non-nucleated RBC cells. If you consider the different types of um, sustainability, its color of this nucleus, of the granules, then you will find each cell by high under high magnification. Here, a uh, presumptive view have been uh, created for your visual expression, visual identification. So, identification and the process of smearing and their color reactions, I have told to you. This is these all structures. Remember, these all structures of the cells is quite different in case of invertebrates, and that characters will be discussed in our preceding next episode of lecture. And um, if you like my video, and if you get some benefit from here, then. Um, share it to other students. Okay, thank you. First, uh, see you in the next lecture.